I don't think you need to get a present if you're spending heaps of money to go to a destination wedding. No, I don't I, think you're on your own. Okay, I'm not. Good, because no. I was like, am I a tight ass? I, I'm I mean, a tight ass. One of my closest friends is getting married in Canada. I am one of her bridesmaids and I am so stoked for it. Obviously, to go to the wedding, my partner and I have booked flights over there, which are not cheap, and also booked the hotel, which was chosen for by the wedding party, also not so cheap. I don't mind about these costs because it's my close friend and it's a holiday to Canada. It's like a two-in-one. My partner and I have debated whether we should get them a wedding gift or not. I don't mind getting one. I do like giving gifts. But my partner thinks we've already spent a lot of money going to the wedding. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you have to get a wedding gift for someone if you've already invested around $4,000 to get to the destination wedding? I may be on my own with this answer, but I don't think you need to get a present if you're spending heaps of money to go to a destination wedding. No, I don't I'm, think you're on your own. Okay, I'm not? Good. Because no. I was like, am I a tight ass? I, am I, I mean, the tight ass? Having said that, Brittany's Laura, like, buy me a present. <laughs> I am having a destination wedding and I would love you to get me a present. No, I mean, as someone that is having a destination wedding, I don't want gifts from anyone. For me so cringe I'm gonna say this the gift is your presence like oh my god your present is my presence but it's so true if all the people that I love are making the effort to travel to Bali then like that is it for me you do not need to give me a gift if you are loaded and you want to (laughs) that was a joke but I just said the absolute wrong thing I said your present is my presence so like your present is me being here the wrong way around yeah your presence your present is your your presence no Am yes, I wedding? Yes. Or yes. your presence is my present. It's the same. At 100%. Yep. There we go. Anyway, you coming and spending $4,000 to get to my wedding is enough of a present. And I don't think that there should be an expectation. We said this the other week. I was like, God, we, we need to normalize having very public conversations around weddings and expectations because everyone's confused. No one knows what the norm is. No one knows how much is an acceptable amount of money. Like, what am I supposed to wear? What am I supposed to do? How do I behave as a bridesmaid? What can I say no to? And it's hard and it costs so much. And I think that we have, like I said the other week, and I'm getting passionate about it again, some really unrealistic expectations that are placed on us when it comes to weddings. And if you are spending $4,000, $4,000, even if that means you're going on a holiday to somewhere that you've always wanted to go, but if you're spending $4,000 to stay in the hotel they want to stay in, to buy the dress that they want you to buy, to go to an event that they are putting on, then no, you don't have to get a present. I would recommend getting a card though. Oh, write, 100%. Write a beautiful heartfelt card that says, you know, how you feel about them and everything and then pop it in. You can also ask, you can also say to your friend, if you guys are close enough, you're in the bridal party, say to your best friend, hey, honey, I just want to get your gauge because I'm not sure what the expectation is. We've spent quite a bit of money on the wedding so far. Do you expect a present? Do you expect a present? I don't even think you need to have that. I would be awkward if my friends came and said that. But the answer is no. But you might say yes, like you just did. You made a joke. Now I'm going to get your present. Fucking hell. I will have at my wedding like a box for cards because I think that's great. Write me fucking wedding advice. (laughs) Give me good wishes. Put the luck on me. Give me the love. Like I would love to read your cards because you're important to me. Am I going to be shaking them to see if cash comes out? No, like I I don't. And also if it's a destination wedding, people don't want you to take a frying pan over there. Like people don't want to bring their gifts back from Canada. They're not going to want 50, 80, 100 people bringing them a gift. No, but if you do have a box for cards, money does fit nicely into that box. It does, technically. It does slide on it. That's why people have the envelope thing because they're trying to deter. Because no, I'm going to say this. No one actually wants a present for their wedding. No one wants a physical gift. They well, don't. They the, just want money. The reason gifts were a thing was because back in the day when you got married, you didn't live together yet. That's why you had gifts. People were not living together. They got married. They started their life together. They needed pans and pots and vacuums. They needed all the stuff to start their married life. Those days are long gone. People totally. are fucking way before they get married. Like <laughs> people are living their best life. So I think that like expectation of like, let me give you the saucepan. It's done. Like, we don't need it anymore. Some people might. And if you have a, gift, a gift registry, then that's totally, like, that, that makes absolute sense. But. Oh, yes. No, sorry. I don't want to shit on people with registries. Gifts at weddings are still 100% a thing in this situation. For me, they're not. Like, it's a destination wedding. 
overseas that you're spending bank on. So yeah. for me, it doesn't fit. I totally agree. I also think that if you're having a destination wedding and you expect as a bride that your family and friends are all going to also give you a gift, I think you are expecting too much and that it should be something that you come to terms with, that if you have made that choice, then you should not expect the people in your life to, to go, you know, the extra mile because they really have contributed so much to physically be there to celebrate with you, to make you feel special in the day. That should be enough. I do want to say this question, like there were so many of them. We have had so many of them come in about destination weddings and or a destination wedding even within Australia, like one that you have to travel to. Australia is so big that half the time it's still classified as a destination wedding. You're still booking flights and a comm somewhere. So it's a really common theme. I agree. The end. Presence is <laughs> presence. Is presence. <laughs> presence is My presence. presence is your present. <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting one from you, Laura. 